Despite today being another day with lots of sunshine out there and very hot temperatures, we did see something a little different. Here's a look from our cameras this afternoon out at Malfaldi, which showed that there was a lot of haze out there in the background. We can see from the surface map why this was. We're in between two systems right now. We have been under the influence of some high pressure, and then just behind it, we're starting to see some low pressure creep up just behind it. What this high pressure did for us the past couple of days was cleared out those clouds, changed up those winds, and well, it allowed for that heat to really sink in. It was because of this heat that we were able to introduce this thermal low. As this low continues to build in, what it's doing is it's building some moisture in from the California Gulf, and as it does so, it's also going to introduce a new trend for us, a chance for some fueling of some thunderstorms come later tonight and on into tomorrow. So to recap, all of this change in weather started off from high pressure, just clearing out those clouds, building in the heat, and because of all those triple digits out there, what we saw after the heat was that new development, that development of some low pressure changing up the winds, and as a result of all this, we saw that change of winds bring in that that smoke out there and what that smoke was coming from it wasn't from fires locally but rather we saw breezes so strong that it was bringing in the smoke from fires down into central and southern parts of California. The new thing that we're going to be looking at that from that change up of winds is that moisture coming into the area and that moisture could be enough to start fueling up some thunderstorms in the area come later tonight and even as we work our way on into tomorrow. Covering your news and weather, meteorologist Liz McGiffin, News 10.